Hey guys, how's it going? This is Hassan here from Hashtag. And today I'm reviewing the Android Eye School project from for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and N500. So let's get right into the review without wasting any more time. So guys, getting into it, as you can see, we have the app drawer and all the system UI that basically looks like stock Android. And it's running Android Marshmallow, so that is a really good thing. And even the lock screen looks pretty simple. And you obviously have your recent panel, but it has a few tricks up its sleeve in the AICP special menu. And as you can see, you have the animation, then you can customize the animation style. You have your quick settings options where you can change the animations of the brightness slider and you can even remove it. There are just loads of options, such as adding a task manager. That's vintage. And uh, other than that, you have a recent panel, and you have loads of options in there as well. And you have your lock screen, you can customize your clock, style date, style alarm, style, and various other things. And then you have multi shit, yep, multi shit, where you have multiple things, but it didn't trigger for the first time. So let's go into it again. And as you can see, it's right here. You have your floating windows and all. Yes, this ROM does have floating windows. And you have halo which is basically a button and it doesn't work then you have panel pawn you can basically customize your notification panel these are very provocative names i'm sorry for taking them then you have the blur ui basically you can enable the blur on the notification panel but that basically doesn't work most of the time and the system ui just crashes and this rom has a, a, a bad habit of crashing and just freezing and just not responding but uh, it does work in the decent apps as you can see. It looks really nice and you have multi windows so that's pretty good. And you also have floating windows. Yes, this is one of those ROMs that runs stock Android along with floating windows. And the Resurrection Remix ROM does that too. And as you can see, we just have then various shit. You basically have a lot of tools here, just different things. Now. Coming to the general stability of the ROM, it isn't that stable, the speed is just fine, the battery life isn't that good, you can get around 1 and to 1.5 one and hours of screen on time, and it's a pretty buggy ROM, I get a lot of crashes and a lot of freezing from this ROM, and sometimes the touch just doesn't respond. I couldn't replicate that on camera, but that's all I have to say. Guys, that was the AI CP ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and then 500 and I wouldn't recommend it because it's actually not that stable. And I mean, you could go with it because it's very customizable, but the Resurrection Remix ROM is just as customizable and it's not this unstable. Yeah guys, that's been an LC guys next one. Peace and have fun.